everybody, it's Jordan with PDQ.com, and we're continuing with our uh, getting started guide. We covered a lot of our deploy information, and now we figure it's time to dive into the inventory. And first thing inventory is we need computers to scan and collect inventory on. And we have four methods that we can do that. Uh, so the first one is by name. So you just come here, add computers, right here by name. Self-explanatory. I can only think of one computer name that might work, so I'm going to try Thor with my credentials. Hey, successful. Thor exists and is on. That easy. So if you know the name, you could also import a list of things if you have like a CSV file. Uh, but this is, in my opinion, the, the one you should be using the least. Uh, so the next one is network discovery. Equity network discovery. This is, it's just going to scan IP ranges. I'm not going to do this one uh, just because I don't actually know the, I guess it's going to guess with the IP range here. We're going to check the uh, dash 24. It's just basically going to uh, scan your network on the range you give it and say, do I find a device? Does something respond to the ping? If so, it tries to add it. This is pretty handy if there's things like printers or devices that are not windows that don't show up by default or maybe they're not in your active directory. This will help you find those and we'll get them added that way. As you can see, it went through and it found a whole bunch. That's more than I found in active directory. So uh, that's, that's working. Now I'm going to, Delete, delete these real quick. That's a lot. As I probably shouldn't be so stunned, but here we are. We're going to delete that one, but now you can see the effectiveness of that. It went through, and anything that responds, it's going to add it in there. It's going to uh, get to come in there and work for you. That, that's, a, that's a great way to find device ranges for things that are not your typical Windows. You've got to find there, and it is still finding things. Maybe I should have canceled that scan, huh? Network scary status, 99%. We're going to stop that. All right, it's so effective that it's irritating me. How's that? Delete those. All right, so the next method we're going to go to is we're going to add, we're going to do Active Directory Browse by Name. This is kind of like by name, but it's going to default to the AD can query with your credentials. Uh, you can actually add multiple domains in here. So if you have multiple, you can go through, look through there. Come into any you're looking for and look like we got Anakin. Anakin's added. And the last one, and this one is the one that I would recommend to use the most because it's the most versatile and it, most hands-off once you're up and running, which is, let's be honest, that's everybody's favorite. And this is the Active Directory. So right now, we don't have auto-sync enabled, but we're going to turn that on just for me. So this is every hour. It's going to query AD. It's going to pull in the computers. You can come in here. You can exclude OUs that you don't want, include very particular ones. You can look at the whole domain. Uh, just if you know your environment, you can go through and find all of that. Uh, we have full sync, mix sync, and import only. So with full sync, anything that is not part of your AD sync is going to delete no matter what. So in this case, where I went through and I added Thor by name, it's going to delete that Thor, but it's going to add a new Thor because Thor is in the Active Directory. Mix sync is going to delete ones based on that were added by an AD sync, but if you added it in another method, it's going to leave those alone. So it will still do the cleanup based on AD, but if you add one off, like something with a network scan is a great example. It's a good way to have mixed where you're uh, not deleting things unintentionally. Import only, we'll never delete anything. It's just only going to add machines. It's not my favorite, but if that's what uh, works for you, that's, uh, that's what's best. We're just going to hit sync now. Got to save it. That's going to query AD, and it should pull in all those devices. And uh, looks like uh, based on the network scan, we're pretty accurate here. Uh, that's pretty much everything you need to know about adding machines. Uh, with this, you, the default scan will start running automatically. And then any custom scan you build, you can set up on your own schedule. Uh, for PDQ.com, I'm Jordan.